Hello, hello. Today we prepare the very green Italian sauce, pesto alla Genovese. It is very and very simple to make it. So what we need is fresh leaves of basil, some olive oil extra virgin, just little more than one tablespoon of cedar nuts, one or two cloves of garlic, a bit of parmigiano reggiano cheese and one pinch of salt. Please be sure that basil leaves are clean and have no water on them and we don't take the hard stems. By the way, the garlic can be very strong like our Ukrainian one or it can be soft like Chinese one so we must know it before. The stronger garlic we take, the less quantity of it goes to pesto, because its strong taste may ruin all delicate taste of other ingredients. That's exactly the case when less is better. And now it is time to put some salt there. It is really only one pinch that we need and not more as cheese has already enough of salt it's important not to make a cream consistency let some small pieces be seen inside The taste of parmigiano plays the first song in our pesto. So stronger taste cheese we take, then less quantity of it we can use. If we use less cheese, we receive lighter version of pesto. This easy trick will help you to green basilico quicker and easier. Here we go, you will have such a green, beautiful mixture. When we add cheese, we don't turn blender anymore, as we want to leave cheese like we prepared and not crashed into powder. On this step we can add a little oil if we feel like. Then we add mix of garlic, cedar nuts and salt. Then we are turning blender just several times and check consistency. So here we are. This is what we need. Homogeneous with small pieces of garlic and nuts. This pasta looks almost like that one received through classic way. Here we must remember that basil is very fast to react with oxygen. 
So if we want to store it several days in the fridge, it is better to add olive oil on top. I don't do it because I will eat it just right now. Thanks a lot for your attention and bon appetito. Let's cook something together again. See you soon.